love about that setter. Um, I love the fact that he can come back home um, or be in our house and he curls up in a ball and he's just the um, gentlest, uh, most relaxed dog we've ever owned. Um, but when it's time to go hunting, you see the excitement build in him and uh, he will go all day, hit another cover, hit another cover, hit another cover. Um, and he just goes with the same, with uh, just raw enthusiasm. Um, so that's the, that's the thing that I love about him. I think he's an old soul. Uh, I've said it from, from really early on. I think he's, he's one of those, he's just, um, just a really neat dog to be around in just in every facet, whether it's in the house or out in the, out in the field. Kind of what drove me is we have several paintings, um, prints hanging throughout the Orvis office and there's some Ripley paintings that are just beautiful and I said to myself, I want the kind of dog that Ripley would have enjoyed painting. Um, you know, he would have been on the hunt, he would have seen the dog work, he would have captured that image somehow and um, I don't think he would have if, if the owner was barking at the dog the whole time or it was breaking points or um, maybe some of it but um, that was kind of my drive and not to say Bricks doesn't do those things he certainly does um, and I certainly do have to bark at him but um, it's just that's kind of my my goal is to have a have a stylish nice dog that somebody would want to go hunting with. Scott McEnany, Senior Manager of Orvis Adventures, and I'm a member of the Rough Grouse Society. <laughs>